The serial killer known as the Grim Sleeper was sentenced to death Wednesday for the murders of nine women and a teenage girl that went unsolved for years as the body count grew in a poor section of Los Angeles haunted by the scourge of crack cocaine. The moment of reckoning for Lonnie Franklin Jr. came after those whose lives were altered by his violence questioned how he could have been so cruel and shown so little remorse. You are truly a piece of evil, said Anetra Washington, who managed to survive after being shot and testified against him at trial. You're right up there with Manson. The killings occurred over more than two decades and community members complained that police didn't seriously investigate them because the victims were black and poor and many were drug users and prostitutes. Franklin was linked at trial to 14 slayings, including four women he wasn't charged with killing. Police have said he may have had as many as 25 victims. Franklin, 63, avoided suspicion for decades, working as a city trash collector and one-time garage attendant for Los Angeles police. He denied any role in the killings to investigators but didn't utter a word in his defense during his lengthy trial or address the judge at sentencing. His attorneys had suggested a mystery man was the real killer. Judge Kathleen Kennedy, a 28-year veteran of the court, said she concluded Franklin preyed on defenseless women because of deep-seated hatred toward them. I can't think of anyone I've encountered in all my years in the criminal justice system that has committed the monstrous crimes that you have, she said. The judge didn't buy the defense argument that California's death penalty was unconstitutional and should be set aside. She also rejected a motion.